Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black Strat Time Report, and we got some broadening formation action working here. So, uh, you know, we had this really tight consolidation down in here, and the spy, here's your 15 minute, yeah, that slight higher high, then triangle them out down in here, and just chopped its way, and we knew about this old broadening formation here, and so when it started rallying up into here, you can see we're going to take this out, all right, lower low, higher high, lower low, higher high, and now back. Right, so uh, what we did have, we tried to go two down, two up on the day, but these ranges are pretty tight. Still an inside month, and so when things started racing up to through here, and I was like, "Don't worry about it." I'm like, "The good thing about broadening formations is they get bigger," and hopefully that's what we're going to see right now. And you notice this on the 15 minute, the inside bar, the 212 reversal back down into the broadening formation. That's what we look for. So we'd like to have some more, uh, you know movement on the daily which we don't have right now um, because we've got a mixed bag something's going up some, something's going down so if you go to if we go to a five minute and you see how tight this really was come on man so here we're watching this at the end of yesterday then they try to take them out then they try to get back out gets a little bigger then it goes all the way up in here. You can see even that high that high bar is an inside five reversal. Two one two back down and now coming back in. So let's go back to thirty. There's that fiver right there. And then you had shooter counters hammer to take it back down. Now it's still trying to deteriorate. It's on the sixty here. Now potential two two sixty back down. All right, so we'll see if we can get that because that 15 and then the 30 triggers the 30, 2-2 two, two reversal on the 30, your lower lows and your higher highs. All right, so one of the, another problem is we had a lot of tight ranges on the weeklies. You can see how juicy this is compared to this on a Thursday. All right, so it's pretty tight comparatively to all, almost all of this stuff. That's not good. So we can go down the line, go QQQ here and the Qs. Still that 3-2 uh, up on the weeks was an inside day and it poked down. So the question here, are you going to be strong enough to rev strat and be an outside day all the way back up? Or is that all she wrote? Because the SPY slightly took out the highs and the Q slightly took out the lows. All right. So if we go back to the 15er, there's your inside 15 to the downside. There's your 2-2 reversal on the 30. So how far these things go, that's what we can pay attention to. If we go to uh, the diamonds, Dow Jones Diamonds. That's a one bar rev strat 30 here, and you can see diamonds still an inside day. So, and slightly red on the week. So a little bit weaker, but we're getting closer to closing out these inside months, and then either side of these months is going to get my attention come April, new quarter. If you go to the small cappers, the small cappers poke down and come back up so you can see this on your daily your higher highs and your lower lows how does it get out of this is what we want to know all right so on here you can see doji on the month that's no good you had your three two on the week how do we close this week out do we go three two two and come ripping back down so i talked about that in the uh, strat attack this week that there was a lot of outside weeks last week and if we start coming back through those that that's where the problems would lie but uh we still got to finish out this week i started off strong with the metals xme now backing off xme was strong early and now backs off right so that's why i said don't get the fomo uh, gold also started to run up and now still skirting up near the highs and so that's good because here you get that two down two up on the week and that's a little better so if you go like jnug you see that the hammer counter shooter two 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 to the upside and now just drifting back lower like a lot of things if we go to let's go back to that spy The thing about the broadening formation is it gets bigger by definition. And so oftentimes people be like, oh, I missed the real move, or I'll buy it on a pullback. I'm like, well, if the real move is, keeps getting bigger, this thing keeps tanking. All right, and that's kind of what we're looking at right here. If we go to CLF, and CLF with a nice day, and remember that's the 312 month. 
And you can see how powerful that can be. All right, still going up there. Then the inside weak continuation. Boom, off she goes. And so now a lot of things coming in. And we'll see if we can get an inside 60, see if the metals hold here, if, if the market gives it up. You have STLD. STLD now comes in, did go inside day to the upside, but uh, now coming in with a lot of things. So we'll see. How about letter X? Letter X trying, but we'll see what that market backs off. Like so. So we'll see. Um, new core. Well, the inflation stuff and new core backs off here a little bit as well so we're inside and down on the 30 we'll see if they can take that out you'd have a rev strat one two two the next half an hour over that 150 277 but market's still deteriorating here if you go to fc hex fcx takes the inside day but now backs off look at this chop shop on the 30. so like i said We'll see if this broadening formation con continues to kick in. Um, SMHers had a little bit of a move here, but I wasn't totally thoroughly convinced. It's just got a slight two-day up, and then you can see it hits the magnitude here slightly, and then backing off like a lot of things here. So uh, we've got a lot of day left, especially if this uh, market starts falling off. Um, if we go to uh, AMD... AMD really chopped them up, but good in here. And then tries to resolve to the upside on a 2-2 day. All right, still two on that. And then on the month, comes back into this range. But, man, if you go to the five minute in this baby, you're going to see broadening formation in all its glory. This stuff in here. This is what takes people out. The lower low, the higher high, the lower low, the higher high, the lower low boom so the question is is this the real move right or does it collapse all the way back through this thing so far pretty staying pretty bright green amd so that's going to be pretty tough to turn around but that's why we're going to watch them all together um because that smh took a while before it could uh, uh before it could take that day to the upside and we'll go to a 30. so now you can see backing off again but not totally collapsing it'll be tough to turn these guys around if you go to nvidia and NVIDIA also had a nice morning here, two down, two up day, right, for the outside month. Near the highs of the week, that's good. Now you can have the two, 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 if we can take this out in a 30-minute, above 279.03. How's that 15er? 15er tried to go shoot a counter's hammer, fails. Because once again, once you get these days really bright green, tough to turn all that stuff around. All right, spy firming up here, so... Back and forth we go. If we go to Intel, and Intel, on this move here, weekly, to down, to up, to take these guys all out. And if that works, you're here on the month. Outside month, hammer, two down, and now you're three, two, two, back to the upside. Here, above this, running out of month, but we can have compound bars. It doesn't have to be this month until you have a reversal against you and so that's above 49.97 right now intel if we go to mu and mu now backs off we're just seeing if this could rev strat this thing here the inside bar the two down and then tries to come back up but uh some of these things really stall like in the semis like analog devices still an inside day was LRCX that finally took the two so a lot of these things uh, still trying to come back up through so we want to see you're always watching a group sector to see if they're going after everything in there or if it's company specific if we go to DRTS DRTS shenaniganer and that's look at that boom nice week you got there and on the day now back into this stuff and you can see had a nice morning but uh now you can have some other bar issues you're stuck in here right wherever you get stuck in the middle of a big range like this that can be real tough so i'd be careful on that uh we've got some bitcoins coming up here si and that's an inside day here it's also inside month to the upside right 
the 212 reversal on the month, and now Momo Hammer 60. Right? Anybody got short in here is right now getting steamrolled, going back into the high SI. How's Mr. doing? Mr. coming up a little bit here. Some more bit kerners trying to go after those inside months here. All right, still keep an eye on this spy. The spy might just kind of go sideways here since it's back into the try, and like I said, some things are going up, some down. LLIM, little guy, takes the inside day, and that gives you a 2 2 reversal on the week. Now you back off, just going to be careful in here. Like I said, once you get back in the middle of a range of a real long bar, but you are inside, inside 60, so we'll see if that gets any steam over 416. If you go to AMRC and AMRC inside week, Momo Hammer on the 212 reversal month. Hits magnitude here. The question is going to be strong enough to take out all of this stuff. We'll see right now. It would be a rev strat 60, but what you, you're getting stuck in these opening bars is going to be a big problem for a lot of things. If you go to LOGI. LOGI inside on the 60. And here you can see these two bars were inside this bar here. Then it slightly pokes down. But these two bars, since they stuck in the mother bar, which is the bar before previous any inside bar, these are a two-day inside pattern. So technically, this is a rev strat combination. The inside, the two down, and the two up. Right? If that works, that takes out the week. Setting up hammer monther here for this guy and holds the gap so far. If we go to Gapper Nicola. And Nicola coming into the gap. And that was a nice 15er, I believe, off the opening right there. Boom. 2-2 two, two reversal on the 15. Down she goes. How's the 30 looking? There's your inside 30 for the continuation on the downside, the 2-1-2. Two, two. We'll see if that keeps going. Had weakness in Okta, Okta here, and we know, we've been known about this for a while. Now, once you start ripping through the range here in bright red, bright red in the month, and taking out last month's lows, then you can see the broadening formation here. The higher high, and then the gap down 2 2 reversal, which is tough because of the continuity. But then you come in yesterday, it opened on the high, and that was all she wrote. And once you start coming back through a range, you're looking to take all these guys out, finish, finish the job on your broadening formation, like so. So we'll see if there's any more weakness there. Firming up a little bit now, so we'll see. If we go to FRM. And AFRM hasn't kicked in as yet, but just keeping an eye on it because this would be rev strat day to the downside if you can take this out. Inside bar, two up. And so later this afternoon, if we anywhere near 42, 47 gets my attention, but starting to firm up just a bit. Uh, the home builders coming out weak. Again, home builders, and we knew that yesterday, doing this. So still inside month, but closing out, getting closer to the downside. And inside, inside on the 60, you got LGIH over there. Having some problems, this would be RevStrat 60. Inside, then pokes up, see if we can take that down. Uh, you can see this, it's taking out last week's lows, taking out last month's lows, all sorts of trouble over there. Home Depot with those guys still a little weak, going after last week's lows, setting up the shooter inside on the month, and that tells us to look at lows here. And not totally getting killed, but you can see that outside week. Still an inside month. All right, if we go to Oxy. And Oxy not totally getting killed, but once again, you can see these lower lows, these higher highs, and then coming back down through, and that gives you the rev strat. One inside day, pokes up, boom, down she goes. We'd like to see a little more magnitude to here, but we'll see if that's going to set up the rev strat week. Inside week, and then shooter. Break green on the month. We're just running out of month. If we go to UPST and UPST inside day and down and stayed down right so we want to see if that's slight higher high on that 60 if it goes two up two back down maybe get closer to another outside week down in here uh, we'll see if we go to Costco Costco not totally getting killed but you can see trying to come back through this range here right still inside month and up but red on the week and coming in, so they had just a rough hour in there. Not sure what was going on. Uh, if we go to uh, Procter and Gamble, 
and Proctor slight inside day to the downside not totally getting killed but we'll see because XLP started to weaken just a tad here albeit still inside day and one last one sky sky coming down and see that three two on the week three outside and then two down if that works you're going two up because this took out the highs two down on the month right once again you can see your broadening formation your higher highs and your lower lows. Now the question is, does that keep going? So if we go back to SPY for just a second, here, now it's trying to firm up. It took that 60 down, but just didn't fall apart. Go back to our 15s. Still going forward. We want to keep an eye on this thing. How do we get out of this, baby? And do we stay out? All right, that's going to do it for them. Rob Smith, Smith Black, Strat Time Report.